Hello everyone, Simon Says Money here. Welcome back to another video. This is a series where I will present 10 stocks that will potentially surge to 50%, 100%, or maybe even 200% in the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks. Now, before you get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor or CPA. Please do your own research and make your own investment decision. This is for education and entertainment purposes only. Now I'm gonna present 10 stocks. We have already gone through three of them, which you can find up there. We have two more videos after this and today I'll present two stocks. So the main takeaway of this series is to find the 10 stocks that could potentially surge the next couple days. Because after the Wall Street bet movement, the retail investors, as well as some small institutional investors, have moved part of their money to invest in some small pharmaceutical companies, especially those with a small market cap, like less than $1 billion. Their vision and mission for small pharma company is to de deliver medicines that enables every patient to live healthier, happier, and more active life at an affordable cost. It's a huge area to be in, and that's why I am making this series into the pharmaceutical industry and with uh, mainly the penny stocks. This sudden inflow of capital into those small companies as well as hot discussion in the social media like Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit have made those stocks extremely hot recently and we don't want to miss this historical opportunity like here Tesla started taking off a few years ago. Now the first stock I will present is LIFE, L-I-F-E, A-T- ATYR Pharma Incorporate. Right now it's trading at around $5.54. It was a little up today, so we will get into that later on. Market cap of $56 million and it surged by 47% during the last week, 43% during the last month, and 69% the last three months. ATYR Pharma is a biotherapeutics company engages in the discovery and development of medicine based on novel immunological pathways. Its therapeutic candidate pipeline includes ATYR1923, a fusion protein compromising the immunomodulatory domain of histidyl tRNA synthetase fused of a human antibody that is in phase 1b 2a clinical trial. The company has a collaboration with the University of Nebraska Medical Center for the Development of NRP2 Biology, Research Collaboration and Option Agreement with CSL Bearing for the Development of Product Candidates de Derived from Up to 4 tRNA Synthetases, and Research Collaboration with the Boston Children's Hospital. It has also licensed agreement with Kyrowin Pharmaceutical for the development and commercialization of the ATYR1923 for ILDs in Japan, and a research collaboration with the Medical University of South Carolina to develop therapeutic antibodies that selectively target specific NRP2 isoforms. Here are some slides that the company recently presented in one of the international conference. First, ATYR1923 indication, pulmonary sarcoidosis. Inflammatory disease of unknown etiology characterized by the formation of granulomas, T cell driven CD4, 90% uh, of all sarcoidosis patients. There are the demographics right here. Also, ATYR1923 mechanism of action disease trigger in the lungs, lung inflammation, and then the lungs are stabilized. tRNA synthetases may have novel functions extracellularly, intracellular, extracellular, and physiological. On January 25th, AATYR Pharma presented findings further validating its core product, NRP2, as a potential regulator of solid tumor progression. Yahoo Finance rating one strong buy and four buy, which indicates a strong buy for this stock. CNBC also said one buy, one strong buy, and two buy signals. In a Yahoo article posted February 4th, 2021, two strong buys, penny stock with over 200% upside on the horizon. A time of economic growth and rebound is a forgiving time to move forward towards risk investment as general economic growth tends to lift everything. Two strategists from JP Morgan have recently chimed in promoting the view that the market's fundamentals are still sound and that small to mid cap sector is going to keep rising. And if you are prone to look at high risk, small to mid cap stocks, you'll find yourself drawn to penny stocks. And then we can see here the CNSP, which I did talk about in my first stock in this series. 
And then here, ATYR Pharma, ticker symbol L-I-F-E. There's also a $15 price target, an impressive 277% potential upside for the coming year. I believe that this stock within the next days, life, has a great potential to break out, reach $13 or even $15 from the current share price of around $5.54. The next stock I'll talk about is ALRN, Aileron Therapeutics. Its share price is now around $2.19 and last week and for a long time it has been around the $1 range. Aileron Therapeutics is focused on transforming the experience of chemotherapy for cancer patients, enabling them to fight cancer without the fear or burden of chemotherapy induced side effects. They are advancing the ALRN6924, the first in-class inhibitor currently in clinical development to provide a single medicine to protect multiple healthy cell types throughout the body from chemotherapy while ensuring chemotherapy continues to destroy cancer cells. On January 11, 2021, Aileron Therapeutics announced completion of the $35.9 million direct registered direct offering which led to a small, tiny, small drop of the share price on that day. We were wondering why because such a direct offering usually would lead to a drop of the stock share price at least 10 or even a 20% drop. Then I did some more research and found out that someone purchased 9 million shares on January 8th. This person was Sadr Munir. And we found out that this Sadr Munir is one of the company Aileron's directors. He purchased 9 million shares on January 8th, 2021. And although on January 11th, Aileron made a direct offering of almost $36 million, the majority of the new shares was acquired by some new institutional investor. Therefore, the direct offering did not dilute the existing shares. That's why the direct offering did not affect the share price. Mr. Sadr Munir bought 4.07 million shares on June 8th, 2020, and again on January 8th, 2021 purchased 9.9 .9 million shares and did not sell his holding. As one of the main directives of the company, it indicates his strong confidence in the company and also means that there will be something happening pretty soon. Either a breakthrough of the development of their product, their main one, ALRN6924, or a potential acquisition. Different analysts give strong estimate like here. Four analysts at Yahoo Finance give st strong buy in February as compared to three only strong buys and two buy in January. And at tip ranks, the well-known five-star analysts, Mr. Edward White and Mr. Sumit Roy, both are specialized in the domain of pharmaceuticals. Their success rate is pretty high, more than 60%. Give share price estimate of $4. I believe that this stock within the next couple days, ALRN has a great potential to break out, reach four or even $5 from the current share price of around $2.19. And that's it for this video. I will have two more videos to complete this 10 stock series. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below what are your favorite stocks from this series are. I'll also make sure to have all these stock series videos in the, the heading. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.